The O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 13 years running. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in a weekdays of Bernie segment tonight. Sarah Palin, CNN, and MSNBC. It all began about two weeks ago. And Sarah Palin compared the national debt to slavery. Obviously, you don't literally mean it's like slavery, which cost millions of people their lives, and there was rape and torture. You're using it as a metaphor, but don't you ever worry that by using that kind of language, you, you risk obscuring the point you're trying to make? There is another definition of slavery, and that is being beholden to some kind of master that is not of your choosing. And yes, the national debt will be like slavery when the note comes due. Well, after that statement, MSNBC's Martin Bashir told his very few viewers that perhaps someone should assault Governor Palin in a gross way. Bashir has since apologized, but has not been suspended. Then, a few days later, CNN's morning guy Chris Cuomo said this. If you want to use slavery, you should know what slavery is, and this is what should happen to you. Mm -hmm. And then it became just the last part of what he was saying should happen to her, which is this, uh, you know, horrible thing that was done uh, to slaves. Do you think Martin Bashir was trying to be viciously, savagely hurtful to Sarah Palin? Yes, Chris, of course. You, you can't don't make think that he was trying to make a bigger rhetorical point and that this was just a, a, a mistake of how to do it? All right, joining us now to analyze the whole mess, Bernie Goldberg, who was in Miami this evening. And you say? Well, on the Chris Cuomo thing, Bill, I say that Cuomo is going out of his way to at least find context or what did uh, what did uh, Martin Bashir really mean when he made that vile comment and then he asked that really dumb question about do you think Martin Bashir was savagely attacking Sarah Palin this tells me one thing and only one thing that Chris Cuomo doesn't like Sarah Palin either could it I be mean, that, that's his could it be all right and I know Cuomo he used to work here at Fox could it be he doesn't know Martin Bashir you know because look if you know what could Bashir it, does, could it, could, it, could it be? Could it be that he's Martin Bashir's buddy? Maybe because they that's what it sounds ABC, like. They have an AB, maybe, but if you know Martin <clears throat> Bashir and you know what he does all the time, you couldn't ask that question because he's a smear merchant. He smears. That's what exactly. he does. Right. All right. So you, why would you give a guy who's doing this for a living the benefit of the doubt? Now, if it had been be Wolf Blitzer who did, who never smears. Then the Cuomo question, I think, would have been valid. I think you're making my point. Okay, good. I mean, he, he, here's Chris Cuomo saying he's looking for, if not an excuse, at least he's, he seems to be defending the indefensible or at least trying to understand, understand. This, yeah. this comment that is so nasty <laughs> that we're not even saying what it is tonight on the air. That's how, that's how over the line and how nasty that comment was. Okay. So if you're, if you're trying to find meaning and context and all this, would he try to find meaning if somebody made an equally vile remark about gays or women or Muslims? No, he would condemn it as all decent well, people I, But would. it gets even more the, personal than that. I think Limbaugh made the point that if I had said this or if Charles Krauthammer had said this about a liberal politician or even Sarah Palin, um, we would it would have been a riot. OK, but the, the other point is that this guy, Joe Concha, Conca, I don't know how to pronounce this. I, we've had him on a show. Concha. Concha. Yeah. From media. I, he was incredulous when, when Cuomo asked him. Of course he's trying to. So, so I don't understand so why Cuomo I. is he, he was so naive about this. I, I, you know, he's I not, know. You know, you're giving, you're giving him way too much credit. It isn't a matter of being naive. It's a matter of being liberal. Now, thank goodness, very, very few liberals have come to Martin Bashir's either defense or whatever you want to call it. But that's what this is about. Think so? Though. Yeah. This Your is a liberal play. journalist. Okay. This is a, yeah, it's a liberal journalist saying, well, don't you think he really meant. You don't defend or try to even understand a remark that's that far over the line. And if you want to know what I would do about it, I'm going to be here for the next few minutes. Feel free to ask me. Well, you'd fire uh, Bashir, right? Well, as a general rule, I'm not for firing people who make comments that are either unpopular or controversial. But in his case, this was in a class by itself. That's how nasty his remark was. So, yes, I would fire him, but then I would go to the real villain. 
I'd go to the president of MSNBC, Phil Griffin, who has created a culture over there in which this kind of thing happens all too often. Not to this degree, but all too often. The third thing I would do very quickly is I'd go to the president of NBC News and I'd say, one of your predecessors said, we do news here at NBC and they do, that's our opinion page over at MSNBC. And if she said, I'd ask her, do you want an opinion page like that for NBC News? And if she said yes, I'd throw her rear end out onto the street also. Bernie Goldberg, everybody, straight and talking tonight. Glenn Beck on deck, another straight